how to be successful in dating online. First of all, what you have to do is remember that people um, online are not tarts or pieces of meat. Apple, they're not cats, dogs or anything else to be used and abused. So they're generally there who want to meet people and that could be for friendship or for uh, love or dating. Um, I think there's far too many men who've used the internet for porn and they, they're translating this to every p woman online. It's a big mistake. See um, Ray Gavrielli and, uh, about porn. The, or, or, or you can uh, listen to one of my porn videos and have a, have a listen and consider that for yourself. And the, the other thing is, if you want to be successful, what you have to do, first of all, is to increase and diversify your interests and um, that could mean you, you have hobbies or beliefs and hobbies and, and constructive be beliefs are, are very good to enhance. So what you want to do is if you've got a minimal interest in say trains or trams or something like that, just broaden it out, it just it, learn more about it, learn associated things, you know, L enhance your own skills and especially learn about associations with uh, self-help. Um, learn how to help yourself with social interactions and learn about how people work and your empathy skills. One of the best people to read is uh, Daniel Goleman uh, on EQ. So if you look at that on EQ, it's a very, very helpful book. Also, if you look at um, Sam Vaknin, all about uh, MPD, you don't have to know about pers uh, personality disorders or narcissistic personality disorders, but uh, Sam is ex-Mossad, a very interesting guy. Uh, that's an ex-Israeli spy, and, and he's very he's a, a psychopath. There's some great books about psychopaths out at the moment. There's Kevin Dutton and Sa uh, Andy McNabb wrote a book, and there's... Uh, all kinds of great information on it. It's really amazing to see the extremes and to understand these extremes. Uh, it helps you apply it to, to yourself, what you may be doing wrong unconsciously. So it, it's possible that uh, quite a lot of people are acting like sociopaths or narcissists when in fact it's just social shaping really. It's just shaping from your, your, your life, maybe slightly wrong, wrongly perceived beliefs. And you can make little changes that can help you. Um, if you understand these things. So I'd suggest Sam Vaknin and Kevin Dutton books, Andy McNabb, and um, engage with people on an on a academic level at first. Um, remember to respect people. Uh, they're not there for you to abuse or to use. And it doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how good or clean your intention. You could be the most poetic beautiful soul on earth and and still only be thinking of yourself you, what you really need to do is engage with people on a, on a mutual level where you may be talking to a doctor who's into dogs and cats we'll start talking about dogs and cats um, talk about uh, but don't challenge people on their knowledge you know what you need to do is is just relax and engage uh, these are real people um, they want to be loved for who they are. They, they're not, they don't want to be shagged for, for a piece of meat because they're not. They're all people, <laughs> just like you. And they've got their own interests and things. And it takes a long time to uh, engage and build up a good relationship on, the, on an academic level. So you've got to remember most women these days are probably smarter than you are. And... Um, you have to take that on board is that, that not everybody's a self-important bitch because they can think, you know, because they've got jobs and use their minds, you know. It they, they doesn't mean to say they're not lonely too and would probably like to treat you very well, but you have to start off treating them well as well if you want the best from them and you, you have to engage on an equal level. So uh, equal playing field. That's what you're doing wrong is you're not talking to people as human beings, you're not reading profiles. You need to read the profile. You need to take time. Um, if you want to have instant sex with somebody, there are millions of websites for that. That's not for dating sites. That's not for good dating sites. It, that, that is for you know sex sites. So you ne learn to read what exactly is the word sex because that's what it means. Go and have sex somewhere else. 
If you're on a dating site, people want to meet or talk or have friendships online or whatever, do it right. You know, get it right. And then you will stop complaining and you will have someone to talk to. Okay, thank you.